Good day, students. Nice to be with you again. By now, I think you should be more relaxed with chemistry as a subject. Our topic for today is very relevant to all areas of life. It is chemical industries. Let's start by giving ourselves some brain teasers. One, can you please write down what you think chemical industries are? Two, quickly let your mind scan through your house and identify materials you think are made by chemical industries. One more to go. Three, write down names of the chemical industries you think produced the materials listed in the second brain teaser. At the end of the lesson, compare your answers to what we would have done and do a sincere appraisal of what you wrote. Now, let's start the lesson in earnest. Chemical industries can be described as companies or industries that 1. Use chemicals to produce useful substances for daily living. 2. Employ chemical reactions to produce substances whether for domestic or industrial purposes. 3. Convert organic or inorganic raw materials into a variety of useful products through chemical reactions. Finally on this, you may prefer to describe chemical industries as those companies involved in the business of making different products from more raw materials through chemical reactions. Generally speaking, all substances produced by chemical industries are very important to the economy of any country. They also help to improve the standard of living of the citizens too. A lot of materials used in schools are products of chemical industries. Can you think of any of such as a student? Let us now proceed to classes of chemical industries. Chemical industries are classified based on the raw materials used and products obtained. They are as follows. 1. Heavy chemicals industries. 2. Fine chemicals industries. 3. Fertilizer industries. 4. Metallurgical industries. 5. Pharmaceutical industries. 6. Ceramic industries. 7. Plastic industries. 8. Soaps and detergents industries. 9. Foods and beverages industries. 10. Cement industries. 11. Paints industries. 12. Glass industries. 13. Cosmetic industries. And lastly, paper and textile industries. Let's do a brief description of each of these industries. Heavy chemicals industries produce chemical substances such as hydrogen, nitrogen, chlorine, iron, tin, aluminum, sulfur four oxide, ammonia, alkanes, tetraoxysulfate six acid, sodium hydroxide, coal, coke, coal tar, and benzene on a very large scale in thousands of tons every year. These chemicals are used extensively in various industries for different purposes across the globe. Fine chemicals industries produce analytical reagents, various additives to foil, dyes and paints on a smaller scale than heavy chemicals but in a purer form, hence are more costly. Fertilizer industries produce fertilizers which are of tremendous help to farmers to boost crop yield, hence vital in making a nation self-reliant in food production. Tetraoxosulfate 6 acid, ammonia and trioxonitrate 5 acid 
are some chemicals used in fertilizer production. We will time out here and come back for another session. Hope you had a nice break. We shall continue with brief description of chemical industries. Metallurgical industries are concerned with the extraction, refining, alloying, and fabrication of metals from their ores. Recall we have treated metals and alloys before. Pharmaceutical industries are concerned with the production of drugs used to treat various ailments. Please visit any pharmacy shop around you, make a list of 20 different drugs and what they are used to treat. Ceramic industries use clay, mud, sand and cement to make cutlery, cups, plates, dishes and containers of various capacities. I'm sure you have a lot of ceramic stuffs at home. Plastic industries produce plastics. Plastics may either be thermoplasts or thermosets. Thermoplasts are plastics that can be melted repeatedly and molded into various shapes. Plastic bags, cups, bottles, bowls, spoons, are examples of household materials made from thermoplasts. Thermosets are plastics that cannot be melted or remolded once they are set at the factory. Plastic parts of most electrical appliances in the home are thermosets. Chemicals used in production of plastics, whether thermoplasts or thermosets, are obtained mainly from coal tar and crude oil. Soaps and detergent industries produce soaps and detergents necessary for domestic and industrial cleaning. Sodium and potassium hydroxides, fats and oils are essential raw materials for this group of industries. You certainly will not find it difficult to write brands of soaps and detergents made in Nigeria. Please do this. Foods and beverages industries produce different packaged edible materials and drinks through various chemical processes. Products obtained are preserved by safe chemicals like sodium chloride, sodium benzoate or benzoic acid, carbon 4 oxide and sulfur 4 oxide. Please visit a supermarket close to you. Make a list of foods and beverages and drinks too you can find on their shelves. Write the name of the companies that produced them. Cement industries produce cement from calcium trioxocarbonate 4, clay, sand and water. The product obtained is very useful for construction. Try to visit a construction site around your house. You'll see several bags of cement there. Let's consider paint industries. Paint industries produce paints. Paint is a suspension of solids in a liquid which when applied to a surface dries by evaporation or oxidation. Paints give a protective or decorative appearance to substances. How many things are painted around you? Do you know someone who makes paints? You may wish to familiarize yourself with such a person to know how paints are made. Glass industries make glass from silicon four oxide sand and sometimes lead. Glass is used to make bottles of various shape, shapes, prisms, mirrors, window panes, 
electrical bulbs, and optical lenses. Again, look around your home or shops in your neighborhood. Make a list of materials made of glass. Cosmetic industries produce substances used to cleanse, beautify, and impart a sense of well-being in a person. Such substances may also be used to hide facial blemishes, disguise gray hair, or merely nourish and condition the skin or hair. I'll advise you check your house for various types of cosmetics used by all members of your family. As you do, remember they are products of chemical industries. Finally, on description of chemical industries, let's talk about paper and textile industries. This group of industries produce paper and textile materials. This should interest you as a student. Your text and exercise books are made from paper. Your school uniform and other clothes are made from textiles. The raw material for both paper and textile is wood obtained from plants. Let's stop here for a while and come back later. Welcome back to the final segment on this lesson of chemical industries. We shall treat raw materials for chemical industries now. Raw materials for chemical industries are of two sources. One, organic. Two, inorganic. Organic materials are from living things, while inorganic materials are from non-living things. Both organic and inorganic raw materials are mostly from natural sources, which are as follows. One, earth or soil. Two, air. Three, sea water. Four, plants. And five, animals. We shall now examine the materials from each of these natural substances. One, from the earth, we get coal, sand, clay, rock salt, limestone, natural gas, metallic ores, crude oil, and sulfur. Two, from air, we get nitrogen gas, oxygen gas, hydrogen gas, carbon four oxide gas, and noble gases. Noble gases are found in group eight of your periodic table. Three, from seawater, the following are obtained. Sodium chloride, sodium bromide, magnesium and potassium bromide, all of which are very useful. Four, plants give vegetable oils obtained from seeds and fruits of various shrubs or trees. Cotton, gum, rubber latex, grains such as maize and sorghum, sugar cane, and perfumes are some raw materials obtained also from plants. Five, from animals, bones, hides and skins, furs, fats and oils are obtained as raw materials. Please write down these questions as your assignment. Ensure you do the assignment after the lesson. 1. Create a T-chart, that is, a table of 10 metallic ores from our lesson on metals and the products obtained from them. 2. Clip pictures of each of the industries treated in this lesson to make your album of chemical industries. 3. What are noble gases used for in daily life? 4. Which of the industries listed during the lesson use nitrogen most and for what purpose? 
5. Apart from respiration and combustion aid, what else is oxygen used for? Let's quickly consider factors determining siting of chemical industries. 1. Availability of raw materials. 2. Cheap source of labor. 3. Ease of transportation. 4. Closeness to the market. 5. Power or fuel supply. 6. Closeness to water source. 7. Telecommunication. And 8. Cooperation of host community. This lesson on chemical industries would be incomplete without considering their effects in a community. So let's treat effects of chemical industries in a community. The effects of chemical industries can be good, such as 1. They provide employment opportunities. 2. There is an increase in the purchasing power of the people. 3. There is a general improvement in the people's standard of living. And remember, we did talk about the fact that chemical industries are very important to the economy of a nation. There are, however, adverse effects of chemical industries. These include 1. Increase in population, which if not productively harnessed, can lead to increase in crime and many social vices. 2. Wastes generated by chemical industries can cause pollution of air, land and water if not properly disposed, managed or recycled. And 3. Environmental pollution in turn leads to various problems in health and the economic well-being of the people. I hope you found this lesson very interesting. Please go through what we have done. God bless you. 